what I do is I, the very first thing to do is, is just take a visual of everything. I like to, I'm working on the bottom side of the engine first usually. Um, so first things first is I usually give the spin to the prop. I seen there's like a little ding, but that's normal, especially here in Southwest Florida. Um, it's, it's always shallow, so it's, it's a normal thing out here. But mainly I always look at is, is that little dowel right there in the middle just to make sure that it's not bent. So if you spin it and you see that wobble, that means you got some other problems and you don't want, you want to pretty much get that taken care of and get the prop shaft replaced or, re, or, or bent straight um, through a machine shop. So, but everything visually looks good here. Getting that prop off. Just, just a slight tap. These tab, these, these lock washers, sometimes you can reuse them. If they, they become brittle after they've been taken off a few times. I usually grab the prop like this and pull it off. Keep all the, all the hardware in my hand. And this is the thrush washer, which ooh, you can see he's got some, uh, he's got some fishing line on there. So that's why you always have to check it. And a little nudge and try not to cut the, I never try to cut the fishing line if it's there. I always try to pull it out. Oh, cool, this came out real nice. Sometimes that fishing line will get stuck way in there and you don't want to cut the line because then you can't get all the pieces out. So if you can grab it in one whole spot like that, that's, that's perfect. And give it a good cleaning. Take off the old hard grease and we'll reapply the grease. So when I put this nut on, I'll, I'm going to try to lay the flat surfaces of the nut along with these tabs that you got to fold up to hold the nut into place. So first good and tight. That's good right there. And then see how that's off a little bit? I'm going to make that, just give it a little bit more pressure to push. Nice and flat. See that? And then uh, the flat head and just start to bend it up. There we go. See it? Now it lays flat. So when you get some reverse, it won't spin off. So it holds it just extra a little bit. 